Hi, my name is Funke Bella, aka Mrs. Fabulous, F A B U L O U S, aka Fabulous Funky, the one and only wife of MC Tunde Bella. Welcome to my kitchen. If this is your first time here, welcome! If you're a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming back. So today we're making skewer chicken. We're just going to be threading some chicken and some peppers through a stick and we'll put it in the oven. I'm not putting it on the barbecue and I'm not frying. I'm doing the slightly healthier version because some my body must load. Thank you very much. Clap for yourself. Clap for yourself. So we'll put the um, chicken on the stick. And we'll put it in the oven. I'll show you the steps. Stay with me. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cube the chicken breast. And I'm going to season it. And I'm going to put them in the fridge for about 20 minutes, not long. So I'm going to cube the chicken. Uh, once the chicken goes in the fridge, then I'll cut up the vegetables to give the chicken enough time for, the, for it to marinate. And then we'll start threading. Okay, so we'll start to cut the chicken and we'll cut it in uh, even sizes in cubes. So I'm going to go like that. Okay, so now I've cubed my chicken and I've got in this bowl about 600 grams of chicken, chicken breast. Chicken breast cooks quicker and um, if you cut them in cubes, they cook quicker in, in the oven and they don't burn, they don't dry out and burn in the oven if you cut them into cubes. So don't make them too small or too big. If they're too big, they'll take forever to cook. But cubes about this size okay so first thing i'm going to put in my um, chicken is some mayonnaise so i'll put that there and for this i'm using uh, dried garlic if if i had more time to put it in the fridge if i was doing it overnight for instance i'd use fresh garlic but because i'm just doing a quick one i'm gonna be using dried garlic because that goes in quicker so let's put that in and then I've got cumin. Put that in. And this is white pepper. White pepper gives chicken breast this peculiar nice flavor. So white pepper goes in. And what's cooking food without this kind of pepper? Eh? <laughs> Red pepper. So I'm gonna put that in as well. It might as well be spicy. Not too spicy, but a little bit spicy. And then we'll add some salt. Not too much salt. But that much that'll do we're cutting down on salt remember we're not eating too much salt. so a little bit and one cube of seasoning that's enough squeeze that in and for this next part i'm going to go in with my hand and i'm going to massage all the ingredients into the chicken You can do it by hand, <laughs> it's up to you, but I'm using gloves. Okay, nicely coated. That will do. I'll cover it with cling film. I'll put it in the fridge while I cut the peppers and do other things. And then I'll come back to it in about 20 minutes to thread it through the skewer sticks. Okay, so I've already cubed my pineapples. So that, that bit is done. And the next thing I'm going to cut the peppers. 
if you notice there's no onion in this combo it's because i don't like onion in skewer chickens if you like onions on your skewer chicken please feel free to put onions on it if you want to put cherry tomatoes on your skewer chicken you can knock yourself out but this is what i like to put on my skewer chicken so this is how i'm going to show you today so i'm going to cut my peppers into cubes roughly the same size as i cut my chicken Okay, so I've finished um, cubing my peppers and my chicken has been friendly with the uh, seasoning, so it's time to carry on. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to spray my baking tray with oil. You can use olive oil or this is rapeseed oil. So. You can use sunflower oil, vegetable oil. I don't think it matters much which oil you use, but it would be nice to put some sort of oil on the tray so it doesn't stick, except you have a non-stick tray. There you go. This tray is not non-stick, so put some oil in it. And then I soaked my uh, skewer sticks in some water. They've been in there for about 20 minutes, so they're ready to, to be used now. So for... You could choose whichever um, arrangement you want. It doesn't really matter. And if you're eating it at home, no one's no one's criticizing you. So I'm going to start with peppers at the bottom. Red pepper at the bottom. One cube of chicken. One green pepper. Another cube of chicken. One pineapple. Oops. Chicken. Give them some room to breathe. And then the yellow pepper. So this is going to be our trend. We'd like to follow this pattern throughout. So we'll carry on threading. I'll show you another one. One red pepper. As I said, it doesn't have to follow this pattern. Make it your own. Do it your way. Just like that thread it and we'll carry on till we finish threading like that okay so i finished threading all the chicken and the vegetables i'm just going to to spray it again with some rapeseed oil and i'm going to put them in the oven so i'll put them in the oven at 160 160 for about 15 minutes and then i'll check it turn it and then do another 15 minutes on the other side and that that should be fine if it's not fine i'll let you know so oil 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 and it'll go in the oven now okay so there you have it our chicken skewers are ready to be enjoyed by us so remember the next time you're invited to dinner at your friend's house or you're going for movie nights somewhere this would be a suitable dish to bring along. Not every day is bottle of wine. This is quite nice actually. If somebody turns up at my house with this, I'll be very happy. This will make a really good party starter anywhere, any day, winter, summer, any time of the year. So please try it. And if you like it, please click the like button. And if you've got a comment, please put the comment in. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you're sitting on a very long time so please subscribe to the channel thank you for watching see you next time bye bye thanks bye.